The Sorcerer's Apprentice Once upon a time there lived an old sorcerer named Pancrates. In his youth he discovered he had a talent for magic, and so he set out to learn all he could. The sorcerer travelled all over the world, learning spells and writing them down in his enormous book. After twenty years of travelling, he settled down in the city of Memphis. The people of the city welcomed him, grateful to have such a powerful sorcerer living among them. Pancrates lived alone in an old tower for over twenty years, practicing his craft. He was rarely alone, though, because the people of Memphis came to him for potions and spells. Eventually, the sorcerer grew old and realized that without him, the people of Memphis would suffer. Who would make them feel better when they were sick? Who would banish the rats from the city and keep curses at bay? So Pancrates decided to take on an apprentice who he would instruct in the magical arts. He announced that he was searching for an apprentice to the people of Memphis, and that anyone who was interested should see him at his tower. Everyone in Memphis wanted to be Pancrates' apprentice. Hundreds of young people showed up at the tower to see if they could be the old sorcerer's apprentice. But Pancrates turned everyone away. Some of them did not have any magical talents, and others wanted the fame of being a sorcerer without putting in the hard work. Then, one day, a young man turned up at Pancrates' tower. His traveling clothes were shabby, and his face was dirty. He was skinny and looked exhausted from his journey. My name is Eucrates, O wise Pancrates. I wish to become your apprentice, he said. And why should I choose you, Eucrates? I've already turned away hundreds of young people. What makes you different? Pancrates, wise old sorcerer that he was, sensed the young man's magical talent. But was he willing to work hard? I heard you were looking for an apprentice, so I left my parents with nothing but the clothes on my back. I have traveled across the world for a chance to be your apprentice. Pancrates was impressed at the young man's determination. He accepted Eucrates as his apprentice, warning him that becoming a sorcerer required many sacrifices and much hard work. But Eucrates was not afraid of hard work. Every day he swept and mopped every room. He hauled water from the river up the thousand steps to the top of the tower where Pancrates worked on his spells and potions. He cleaned out Pancrates' cauldron and fetched his potion ingredients from the market. For ten years Eucrates worked hard at his tasks. At first he had been eager to take on any work Pancrates gave him, but he was becoming frustrated. He had come here to learn magic, not to sweep floors, carry water, or fetch potion ingredients. But Pancrates had barely taught him anything. After a decade as an apprentice, Eucrates barely knew how to heal cuts or cool fevers with magic. One day, Pancrates left the tower to visit a friend. Eucrates knew his master wouldn't be back until late in the evening, so he went to the top of the tower where the spell books were kept. He couldn't believe his eyes. There were so many books and so many different spells he never would have dreamed of. Why had Pancrates kept all this from him? Eucrates grabbed the first spell book he saw. In it was a spell to turn a broom into a servant that would do whatever you commanded it to do. Perfect. Now he wouldn't have to haul water up one thousand steps every day. He could just enchant something to do it for him. Eucrates spotted a broom in the corner of the room and said the magic words. The broom came to life, growing arms and hands. Fetch water for your master, broom, Eucrates said as he pointed at the empty water basin with buckets beside it. The enchanted broom picked up the buckets and began to walk down the steps of the tower to the river. After a few minutes, it was bringing up two full buckets of water to put in Pancrates' huge cauldron. Eucrates was very pleased with himself. He no longer had to work hard, and he had learned a new spell. Why had Pancrates been so greedy with his knowledge? Eucrates sat at the fancy wooden desk near the window and began to read the spell book, searching for more useful spells. But he had been up late last night hauling water, so he fell asleep as he was reading the book. Hours later, Eucrates woke up from a dream where he had been swimming to find the cauldron completely overflowing. 
flooding the room with water which then flowed down the stairs of the tower like a waterfall he panicked realizing that he had not commanded the broom to stop hauling water when the cauldron was full he raced down the stairs in search of the broom but when he reached the bottom he did not see one broom but a whole army of brooms carrying water buckets oh no the enchantment had worked on every broom in memphis eucrates panicked and forgot what words he needed to use to stop the spell so he grabbed an axe and began chopping away at the brooms trying to get them to stop but there were too many of them and they started attacking eucrates for trying to stop them just as he was in danger of getting hurt pancrates appeared the old sorcerer had been enjoying a visit with his friend when his friend's broom got up grabbed two buckets and started walking away he knew eucrates had gotten himself in trouble so he rushed back to the tower as fast as he could with one word pancrates ended the spell and the brooms became regular brooms again and fell to the ground do you see eucrates knowledge without wisdom does more harm than good he said to his apprentice pancrates kept eucrates as his apprentice because he felt the young man had learned a valuable lesson from his mischief but eucrates still had to haul water clean the tower and fetch potion ingredients for his master as he learned to work magic and as punishment for flooding pancrates tower eucrates had to take each broom and return it to its rightful owner with his apologies over the years eucrates gained wisdom as well as knowledge and became a great sorcerer when the old sorcerer died eucrates went from apprentice to master never forgetting pancrates's valuable lesson about how wisdom and hard work are just as important as knowledge the text of this myth was adapted by carrie slager for the museum of antiquities the following sources were used as reference Thank you for listening.